Hi folks, welcome to another episode of NYCCNC. I uh, haven't been posting a lot lately, but that's not because I haven't been busy. Uh, I've got an exciting mod here to show you um, on my 7x14 Micromark Mini Lathe. As you can see lately from my posts, I've been working a lot on improving the functionality and precision of this lathe. Uh, the last major post I think I did was, was showing the uh, lapping and grinding of the um, ways and jibs. You can also see here I've got a new 5C collet chuck and some 5C collets, but that's going to be for another episode. What I want to show you today is this little guy right here, which as you can see is foreign to the lathe. Um, this is a a um, cam levered compound slide lock, and this fixes when my, what is, in my opinion, a major shortcoming or just sort of annoyance to these guys, which is that normally to change the angle of the compound, you've got to back it all the way out, use a hex key to undo two socket head cap screws, move it to the angle you like, tighten it down, slide it back in. Uh, doesn't necessarily take all that long, but it certainly um, is, is a pain and can kind of steal your momentum when you're trying to work on a part. So uh, the important thing that I want to tell you first about this is that this is a project which I first read about and then um, acquired the plans for from minilathe.com. That's mini-lathe.com. I uh, will have a link here on my website to these uh, plans. And this guy, I believe his name is Frank, is sort of the um, you know very, very well-respected fellow on these lathes. And he's put together a series of premium articles, of which this is one of them. I paid for all of them as a, a bundle, which were about 25. It included many other projects, tips, etc. I believe you can buy just this project for something like five or seven or eight dollars. So, um, a couple of things. One, I highly recommend um, all of the projects he has there. They're really great. His website is a wealth of information. Um, but also because he charges for this, and I would you know fully support. Uh, hopefully, what you know, it will be some revenue thrown his way. Um, I won't be able to show you all the details of this because, um, you know, obviously it's something you're going to need to look at the plans for and if you want to pay for them, download them. But if you do download them and you have any questions about um, making it, shoot me an email, reach out to me, I'd be happy to help you. I believe in his description of the product before you buy it, you'll see some about it. Um, I, did want, I do want to say though that I did made the whole thing on my lathe and on my drill press I did not use my mill so um, that can be done. I think the stock was a couple of pieces of aluminum, um, a couple of pieces of drill rod and uh, you know a couple of tap sizes once again you, you can see all that online um, but um, not a lot of cost of materials unless you don't own um, the taps or something and really a great project. For me it was probably one of the more uh, precision demanding projects that I've had out there because you do have to hold it to plus zero or mi and, and minus about one or two thou on some of the dimensions which can be tricky for a, for a new fellow like me when you're holding that tolerance on both the, uh, the cross angle and the depth of the part. But I finished it the other night and it worked great so without further ado let me just show you. You lift this lever up here and as you raise it you have full functionality to rotate the compound in any which direction you want. And then when you pull this back down, it locks into place. I've spent some time um, turning with it now that I've finished it. Um, it does not budge. It does not seem to be any source of chatter or weak points. So um, even though it's a fundamentally different mechanism of locking it, and you can see, I, I, do, I do have a picture here coming up, um, which does show the sort of inside piece, which is replaced. Um, the piece that comes with your lathe, this guy right here, you'll no longer need. Um, and I've also, you astute viewers out there, uh, have moved the compound slide back about uh, seven eighths of an inch, which is a recommendation they make in the plans. You don't have to do that. But um, a great uh, project of demanding but project, but one reason I like it is even though it's technical and a little bit complicated, um, there are a lot of parts to be made where 
um, you know, if you screw up one thing, you don't have, a, you know, dozens of hours in one part. So you can kind of break it out and take your time. I took a couple of weeks just working nights to, to make it. Um, but I don't want to sound intimidating either. It's not that hard or not that many things. Um, I like it too because it'll help me adjust between my 30 degree angles. I've got it set up now here for single point threading. And then if I want to move it to 60 degrees, which allows me to use simple trigonometry to move my um, compound in one thou and get half a thou adjustment. And then also if you want to rotate it all the way such that it's 90 so that you can have fine feed on your depth. Um, so that's it. Um, like I said, um, highly recommend his articles. There will be a link available. And if you do purchase the articles and you have questions about making it, let me know. Thanks, everyone.